Hi everyone, through this video we will discuss the limb development in vertebrates. So the vertebrate limbs are appendages that perform crucial role being involved in locomotion, feeding, communication and other complex tasks. So the vertebrate limbs are organized into three regions that is stylopod, zygopod and the otopod. Stylopod forms the humerus and femur, while the zygopod forms the radio ulna, tibio fibula, and the autopod forms the carpals, fingers, ankles, and toes. So, limbs formed at vertebra segment levels as C5 to C8, that is cervical 5 to cervical 8, upper limb, and then lumbar 3 to lumbar 5, lower limb. Uh, limbs will not perform just anywhere along the body axis, rather, there are discrete positions where limb fields are generated. So the limb fields are the first cell which form the uh, fore limb or the hind hind limb. In the limb field areas where limb bird will develop and limb birds first appears on ventral lateral body wall initially and extend one ventrally. So the mesodermal cells are organized into four regions that is axial mesoderm, paraaxial mesoderm, intermediate mesoderm and the lateral plate mesoderm. So limb development begins when the mesenchyme cells proliferate from lateral plate mesoderm and from somites. So there, uh, these mesodermal cells accumulate on the ectodermal tissues to create circular bulge called limb bird. And limb is divided into three dimensions that is proximal and distal, anterior and posterior and the dorsal and the ventral. So here are the picture of the limb bird showing the apical ectodermal ridge that is AR underlying the tissues. So first uh, limb field is uh, appears then the limb bird are formed and then limbs development starts so axial ectodermal region sorry apical ectodermal ridge uh, consists of central core of undifferentiated mesenchyme tip with a layer of ectoderm called the aer and itself maintained by the zpa that is zo zone of polarizing activity so the AR reciprocatively secretes FGF8 and FGF4 which maintains the FGF10 signals and induce proliferation in the mesoderm. So AER is responsible for the proximal, distal and dorsoventral region. Next one is the ZPA that is zone of polarizing activity secretes the SHH that is Sony Hedgehog protein act as a morphogene and determine the anterior posterior axis. So it is also expressed by the hox gene for four limbs hox 9 and hox 10 and absence of hox 9 in hind limb so there is also another hox gene that is hox a hox b and hox c and hox d so in the limb field areas where the limb birds will develop specific hox gene becomes regulated by retinoic acid the zp and the ar signaling centers are linked to each other through the mutual cross regulation the sss genes fgf genes hox gene t box and wnt families all plays a vital role in cell signaling and differentiating to regulate and promote successful limb formation so many studies have focused that the enhancer of sss gene is required for the proper limb formation in several vertebrate species with mutation in this sequence known as to cause limb deformities here is a figure of mechanism of the limb development from the limb bird next one is the axis formation so there are three axes by which the limb development so first one is the proximal distal axis uh, at the generation of the proximal distal axis the axis of developing limbs are determined by the induction of the ectoderm of at AER that is axial uh, apical ectodermal ridge and the AR secrete FGF8 which keeps the underlying mesenchyme proliferate and this mesenchyme is called ZP that means zone of proliferation next one is the anterior posterior axis as it is defined by the expression of SSH in the bow in the posterior mesoderm of the limb bird and the reason is called ZPA the third one is the dorsoventral axis this is formed by the expression of the WNT7A genes in the dorsal portion of the limb ectoderm and the FGF4 and SHH reciprocally maintain each other expression Desert formation. So the cells uh, death in the limb is necessary for the formation of the desert and joints. So it is regulated by the BMP genes that is bone morphogenetic protein. So BM2, BM4, BM7 also present and in elongation continues, continues the mesenchyme condensed into the plates forming the cartilaginous model of the future desert bones.
the common limb abnormalities are the amelia that is complete absence of limb meromelia that is partial absence of one or more limb structure and the common digit ab abnormalities are the syndactyly and the polydactyly where the polydactyly means the increase in number of digits while the syndactyly means the fusion of digits so congenital limbs and digit defects occurs in between 1 to 500 and in 1 in 1000 live birds and they are often associated with the other bird defects such as congenital heart malformation so this is about the limb development in the vertebrates thank you and keep watching